Hi all, in this brief tech in a couple minutes, I'm just going to show you several ways that you can share pieces of YouTube videos in your classroom or with colleagues for PD or training opportunities. One of the newest features of YouTube you might have missed is that some of the videos have a clip feature built into the YouTube video. You'll notice the clip icon down at the bottom here. Some videos don't have permissions for that, some do. We'll look at a workaround right after this. So say you wanted to share this video, this would be more for a colleague or a training, um, and you only wanted to share a piece of it with somebody to either email it to them embedded in a um, slide presentation or a presentation you're doing. Um, this is how you can do that. Simply click the clip button. You can then change the time here. So for this case, I want to go from 25 seconds. The sensory room is probably my most important. To 50 seconds. I'm going to put a sensory room clip. And I'm going to hit share clip. What that's going to do now is generate a link for me right here of just the 25 seconds in that video. Let's take a look at that right here. The sensory room is probably my most important piece of the day. You'll notice it gives you the clipped link down here times, or you can go to the full video here. To do that again, if I had a video I wanted to share in the classroom or as with a colleague for PD or in a presentation, but I don't want to share the whole video, some of the videos now have a clip feature Simply click that, put in the times of the video you want to share. In this case, it was 25 seconds. The sensory room is probably my seconds. most important. Add a description. And share the clip. And again, this gives you a link to just the 25 seconds of that video again can now be embedded in a slide can be used in a presentation or simply email to somebody say here's what i was talking about this is great not only in the classroom for students but for pd training when you want to share just a piece of something you can even share parts of youtube videos you've made for instance i could make this whole video and then just share 25 seconds of it with somebody or however many seconds you want in this case the clip does 5 to 60 seconds Let's do that again with a different video. Say you wanted to take part of this relax relaxation video and share it in your classroom. You can go to clip again. You can change the times of the video over here. Or you can simply do the bar down here and select the window of the video that you want. Again, five to 60 seconds in there. You'll notice the times up there are changing. Um, in that window so you can change that right here say you were happy with those 11 seconds again i'm just doing this quick title it relaxation share the clip again you have a video url simply that goes to that 11 second clip now instead of the whole video so this is helpful again for the new feature on the videos that offer the clip button but what if you come across a video that doesn't have that this is a workaround a lot of people aren't aware of that we're just going to look at briefly. Let's go to this Circle Time Hello song right down here. You'll notice on this the button to clip is not there. If you want to make a video with a start and end time on YouTube and the clip button is not there, the process is a little more laborious but not terribly hard. The first thing you're going to want to do is know the section of video that you want to take. I'm not finding an exact section of this that makes sense, but for purposes of this, let's say you wanted 20 seconds to 50 seconds. Just be aware if you go over a minute, it converts, it keeps it in seconds, so you just have to kind of do the math in your head. It doesn't convert it to minutes when you're doing this option here. If I wanted just from 20 to 50 seconds in this video, I can go to share. Now I need to click embed and I need to take the embed website. Now if I copy that 
and I paste that up here, I can add this to any YouTube video using that embed URL. Question mark, start equals 20, and end equals 50. What I just did now was make my own link, not a shortcut way, a little harder way, of just those 30 seconds of that video. If it was two minutes to two minutes and 30 seconds, this would be 120, 150, because you're going in seconds, not minutes up here, okay? Now check this out, when I hit enter, I now have a video that's just a 30 second clip of the whole video. Let's do that one more time. Say I wanted part of this video to share in my classroom or on the smart board, in a Google slide presentation, email it, embed it somewhere, whatever. I can take part of any video by first going to share, go to embed. I wanna take this link now, notice it says embed there, it's a different link than on the main page. And then I can paste that link. And by simply adding what I'm about to add, that will give you a video of just those seconds. Question mark, start equals 20. Again, this is in seconds. It could be 150 seconds. It could be whatever part of the video wanted to start at. And end equals, or in this case, 50. Again, now that's generating just a 30 second clip Shake a pie and video. touch the and sky. Shake down low, shake down low, shake down low and Again, this is good for if the video doesn't have that new clip feature right here. It's a longer way to do that, but in case you weren't aware, that's a way you can do that as well. A final way that I like to share a video is just simply embed it into a Google slide. Let's go back to this instance right here. I'm going to take this video, copy it. When I'm in Google Slides, I'm going to hit Insert Video, paste that link, and put it in. Now that video is in my Google Slide, notice over here it pops up where I want that to start and end in my Google Slide. So when I'm playing my slide within Google Slides, you can do this as well. To recap, this came up recently in a training I was in with somebody on how to take part of a YouTube video to share with another staff member for a training purpose, but in this case it can be used in the classroom, it can be used for anything. The first way we looked at was sharing part of this video with a colleague. Notice this video does have the new clip feature on it. Click that, you'll be brought to a box that you can either enter the seconds or use the bar down here to frame the seconds you want to share. We you can do up to 55 to 50 seconds or 60 seconds um, for this feature. Title it and share that clip. You'll get a URL to share. The other way is a little longer. If you came to a video that you didn't have that clip feature down here, but you wanted to share part of this video, you can do that as well by hitting share, taking the embed URL from the embed code, and then like we did over here, you're putting question mark, start equals, and end equals in seconds, which is then framing a shorter video for you. The third way to do this as well is simply use Google Slides, insert the entire video link from YouTube, and a box pops up that allows you to then frame the part of the video that you want to share. This training is started by looking at the new clip feature in YouTube and also a couple other ways to share just parts of YouTube videos, which is a commonly asked question at the school for not only classroom use, but for PD and training as well. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to me and I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.